Hey guys, what's going on? It's time for a new stream here today from the Paradox Studios here in the, well, the tower, because it's recently been rechristened, <laughs> so to speak. The Paradox Tower. It's kind of, kind of, kind of crazy name, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, no, it's, but it's our tower. Yeah, it's, it's our tower. Yeah. We, we've named it, it's now ours. Yeah, it definitely is. So, uh, guys, what are we doing today? Well, we're doing a March Eagles multiplayer stream. But to make sure that you get some guaranteed action, we've decided to contrive the scenario a little bit. So, once, because in Mars Eagles multiplayer, everyone's waiting for their opportunity to jump on someone else. We, <laughs> we, we don't want to go through a two hour stream with everyone waiting. So, what we've decided to set up is two teams, four versus four. So, we are the central powers here, and off camera are the developers of Mars Eagles, and they are going to be the periphery powers. Yep. So, I will be Spain. Yes. Then I'll be France. I will be none other than Prussia. And I will be the other German state, Austria. And the raid against us is Britain, Sweden, Russia, and the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's good to know that there's a lot of things going on here. We are, of course, playing with eight people. Uh, everyone, every, uh, every person is a representation of one of the eagles in the game. Now, normally the game doesn't start out like this. We have contrived this particular scenario we may actually look at uh, if we actually want to add it to the game. But first we're going to need to figure out whether or not this actual setup is balanced. Mm. <laughs> Let's <we> hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the part where the other guys find out that we deleted all their armies. Um, but uh, yeah, basically that is the gist of it. Mm. And uh, we're going to go for a five minute setup right now uh, and pretty much open everything up. And I think it's just, uh, I think we should go and uh, go live there, Jacob. Jacob's our uh, host we push play. Yes, Jacob is our host in chief. Yes. So here we go. And we are waiting for people. Yeah. Are we doing a five minute soft start? Yes, we're yeah, doing a five minute uh, quick setup here, and then we're gonna go and dive straight in. So, Spain, I see over there. Yeah. All right, I'll press start, I don't know. No, no, no. All right. No, no, go. Oh, yeah, all players. Yeah, <coughs> we're all play. here. Well, we're all here, let's roll. Yep. All right. All right, so, so step one, I need to assemble a fleet. Step one, I need to invade a lot of people. Oh, that's not like yous. Well, it's Prussia. So. People will be surprised. You know, they'll be going, what kind of stream is this? I know. Uh, my armies are. I like how I immediately am hostile to sweet. Yeah, well, you know, if you've lived uh, here long yeah, enough, have yeah. My armors are completely different than they were on the build I was looking at. Yeah, well, we like mm -hmm. to keep you guessing. Uh, do you guys mind if I take Brunswick? No, uh, I, I don't mind. I've, okay. I, I have nothing against Brunswick. Okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, well, Bruns, I'll, I shall take Brunswick. I'll take it. And I will uh, prepare to our little main thrust. Yes, we are going to yeah. assume... Although we pro although they promised not to, we're gonna we're gonna play like they are watch watching our stream, yeah. and so we don't we don't want to discuss our plans too much. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll tell you as they unfold because, I mean, just in case they do kind of yeah cheat. cheat. Well, cheat's a very strong word, you know. Take advantage of the gifts they were given. Maybe is one way of looking at it. Mm. So, I'm gonna go with cheat. cheat that's a <laughs> Let me just, oh, wrong one, I need to, I'm just going to, I'm actually just going to remove the hints here, because so I'm going to be cocky and say I don't need them. So Chris, tell us, uh, what, what, is, what is March of the Eagles, basically? Alright, March of the Eagles is a Napoleonic game, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's the year is 1805, and war, Napoleonic wars are now raging in Europe, and your goal is to, unlike most Paradox games, is to actually win the game. So, although we are cooperating for victory, if we look at this as map mode here, you can see all nice green and blue covered pro colored provinces, which are my objectives. And I think I have 11 of each, land and naval, and I need to seize four of them. That's it? It's, no, you seize seven of them. Sorry, that was, seven. I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. no, I was, I was making my game playing on easy mode there for a moment. Uh, guys, I'm going to go full way with what we said. I will leave almost nothing defending... Uh, Russia. Okay. Austria in itself. Mm -hmm. Only 30,000 men. <coughs> are, are, you going, are you still going with the strategy that we discussed? Uh, yes, I'm still going with Okay, our, okay, okay. That strategy that we can't talk about just yet. Just exactly. Yet. Yeah. Yeah, but but so, we will soon, we will, we will reveal gradually as the game goes on. Yes. Yes. So, 
Let's see. I'm gonna check out the. Oh, we're much. We don't know how much. They no, no, no. Multiplayer. We we disable that kind of information oh. because we think it makes it too easy. Yeah. Ooh, 50 Ooh, is he good? Uh, he is actually quite good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna talk with the Danes? The Danes. Mm, well, I'm currently. Oh, talk to the Danes. Uh, yes, Let's get some it leaders needs to in be here. Falls, right? Yes. Just gonna get some leadership in my armies here, because it's really quite important. Mm -hmm. Because without leaders, your armies get absolutely slaughtered. Yeah. So I'm just getting some nice few leaders in my armies here, which is good. I am sadly Spain, another country which doesn't win many wars, or at least. Not, not from this period on. <laughs> Are we going to have this conversation now, Chris? I thought, I thought I'd throw it in there. I, mean, I know it's what the fans like to know. There, was, lot, there was so much conversation the last time on the uh, on the YouTube about whether or not Germany actually had or had not won a war. To the point where a person had registered under the name, in the name Napoleon Bonaparte, where he claimed that, in fact, Germany had won a war. Well, it's good to see Napoleon still posting on YouTube. I know, right? Yeah. After all these years. Yeah, yeah. Mm. At least he's, even he's getting with modern technology. You know, you can call him anything, but he was never a quitter, Napoleon. No. <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. No, so yeah. Should I start the game, Rolling? Yeah. Uh, yes, we're going to be playing on Speed 3. Three. Currently, we're following Chris. Yes, down in Spain here. I have one objective at the beginning, which is Gibraltar. Right. Now, the reason why we want Gibraltar is that... Oh, Spanish Holdings in America. Nice one. Getting a bit of money there. Oh. But always good to have money. Yeah, the reason we want Gibraltar is that the British wanted to maintain their dominance of, of the seas. And if you're dominant in the seas, every port that's neutral or friendly gives you cash. So if we can take this off him, we take away a chunk of his money. Right. So, and if we do that, hopefully we can weaken him just a little bit. I am now at war with England. Yeah, we're all at war. Oh dear. We're all having one glorious fun war here. <laughs> We've decided to host a war and everyone is invited. Yeah, so my so I'm gathering a little cheeky army here. I've got about thirty thousand troops. That should hopefully my be enough. Are crap. Oh, 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 that's a big British fleet there. Where is it? Oh it's at it's at Gibraltar. How many? Ten. I've got eleven. Okay. So the entire British fleet is down south? Well, no, just 10 they of them. Get, they, get, they start off at 400 ships. Yeah, they just, well, they, not, not quite 400, but certainly a lot more than we have. Mm. Basically, the countries with the navies are sadly the ones we are at war with. Yes. So we are going to have to plan how to work our way around the minor technical problem of being outnumbered at sea. It looks like now, my Mediterranean fleet managed to slip their blockade. Okay. Yeah, so you can ma ma mass in the channel? I'll be massing on the French west coast okay. and see if I can at least present a credible threat. Uh, it seems British. like the Ottomans are just marching into my country. Okay. Well, that's not very nice of them. No, but I kind of like that. Well, so, Alright, so Jesus, is it all happening exactly as planned? It's all as happening exactly as planned. <laughs> And I'm preparing uh, for war. I think I've watched too many episodes. I've watched Star Wars too many times yes, as a kid. Yes, definitely, think. definitely. Mm. But it made me the normal balanced person you see today. Mm. <laughs> well, so I would go so far balanced. But, uh, <laughs> so what's happening? And let's see. Let's see what's happening in the east. Oh. I, didn't see, I don't see much, much going on. No, no, not much Russian action here at all. Should I execute my plan? Yes. Yes. All right, execute. Any sign of any sweets? I haven't seen any Swedes either. How is our how is our relationship with Denmark right now? Uh, I can't work that one. I think yeah, France has France, to do it. can you see if we can get to Denmark? Will Denmark be your friends? Invite to our coalition. Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay, we're Let's now. Let's in... see what happens. And they have joined our coalition. Yes. Yes. That's Score good. one for the good guys there. Woo! And I've got my oh. armies all prepared for war. And it looks like our AI buddies have already invited Denmark to the war as well. Map. Oh. Oh. That's very oh good. Or AI guys. Okay. Yeah. So that's not a problem. Then. No, no, that's always nice. Okay. Right, I'm currently sieging, um, uh, what's it called? The Swedish Stralsund. Okay. 
what do we have to do? It's a total of eight ships of the line. I have nine ships of the line. However, well, not quite yet got ideas. However, when I go into diplomacy here, we'll check am, out the British. Uh, the they have lots of naval ideas, and I don't. So mm -hmm. all right, so they are doom stacking. Where are they? Oh shit! Fifty thousand units. Fifty nine gain fifty. Should I take the battle? I would just. How many do you have? I would stand. Yeah. Stand. Stand. Yes. And hope they engage. Oh yes, I got fifty seven. Oh, this is gonna be a perfect. Fifty nine thousand units. That's all they have. On yes, the, this on is gonna be a perfect trap because yeah. I got fifty more thousand soldiers. Oh. Is this so let's let's move around. us let's move over here let's your live action camera here we're zooming in here it's 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 not looking it's looking a bit grim here for the Ottomans and they've fallen back yes they lost forty seven thousand soldiers oh, and wow. I lost eight Ooh, oh that wow. was that was a uh, that was painful for Very someone painful. not for us nope. nope let's see what's it saying here oh it's a big win there sadly our navies are not doing quite as well but. Navies are not a speciality. Now, my biggest problem here is trying to I see a Russian stack, 50,000 men. Let's Where? Up. Let's cut to the Russian stack. Oh, I see 20,000 down here. Yeah. Oh, is he coming in? Yeah, they are. Is he going into Austria? Oh, right. oh there's oh, there's a lot. All right, so I got Russians coming in on me. Mm -hmm. Are anyone ready to defend me? Uh, there is 30,000 <laughs> French so far in the I country, see a big doom stack coming up there. another 200,000 yeah. coming up. Yeah, I'm waiting for those. Uh, our our problem is, where are the British? Are That's going, going to be the interesting question. question. Yes. This is what's... Uh, this is... Um, our plan is so far running pretty well. We've got, yep. we've got Denmark, who are fairly credible, will hopefully keep Sweden amused. We have the Russians coming in on the east as expected. Pretty much. We have the we managed to drive the Ottomans or won the first round of fighting in the Balkans against the Ottomans. However, we have the British question. What are they up to? Oh, nine thousand Dutch are coming down. Oh, excellent. You never have too many Dutch. Yeah, I know, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna create a small army and see if I can start delaying against the Russian Doom statue. I have, I have just the next So I'm building some artillery to help me siege and, uh, down this place. I'm actually going to assault the fortress now because I breached the wall. Okay. Yeah. This also depends how big the garrison is. Yeah. Not big. All right, let's get some artillery batteries on the go because I'm trying to demolish Gibraltar. Now the, the thing about Gibraltar is it's a beast of a fort and it's also um, considered an island, so you'd really need a naval blockade to be able to effectively siege it. All right, the Russians are going all in on Austria. It looks like well, no, no not all in. It's only seventy thousand. It's hard to imagine. fifty thousand in the north. The, the British have popped shown up, in. up in Sweden. Yeah, there we have the British there in Sweden. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And that seems to mean that the Danes will have a tough time there. Yes. yes. Maybe our Danish gambit was not was was. Was, was too obvious. I don't know. I'm actually quite. If it makes, if it means that they commit, why are the hundred thousand French marching down south? Yeah, they are supposed to get ready to help out. Yeah, All right, I, I need them against the the Russians. Oh shit! The Russians are marching against my armies, so I'm gonna send twenty eight thousand soldiers down there. Right? Should I go trash Portugal just while we're hanging yeah, out Yeah, I think here? we should. Just for maximum carnage, let's declare war on Portugal. So here we are, one army into Armeria, one to Porto. But Belgrade is still going strong. Oh wait a minute, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, you want to go there, thank you. Sorry. Right, now. So what do we got here guys, how are we doing? All right, um, I got Gibraltar under siege, but it's a very slow day at the office here. I don't have much artillery, so I'm building some. I'm gonna send it in just for a laugh. Some 300,000 Frenchmen have arrived close to the eastern front lines with 100,000 down south near the Ottomans. I've, I've seen them. I have a whole um, we are, we are, I'm we are, actually going to send 50,000 to, to the defense. We're to the plan. Yes. The plan is so far working. Now, do we have any sign of the Royal Navy? Because I am I'm building a few ships, but Spain isn't that rich. Oh, I can get an idea. This is awesome news. Now, what do I want to go for? I want fire mm -hmm. ideas. I fear I have unemployed leaders. So yeah, the, well, I have unemployed leaders as well, but that's because I've currently got more armies than leaders, or as they're they're sort of doomette stacks being Spain. Yes. 